Maybe I should clean up a little. Hi, I'm Maddie. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time, Beer in Beautiful Places is all about going on adventures and having a beer while you're out there. Um, I do all sorts of travels and adventures and right now I'm living in a van and I definitely wanted it to be very upfront from the very beginning. I It's not like all sunshine and rainbows and beautiful sunsets with acoustic guitar in the background but you know it's messy and I've been working all weekend and I have just been throwing stuff wherever so I thought this would be a good way to showcase the real side of van life plus we can also talk about how I fit my entire life into one vehicle how I organize to start things off first I need to clean up all this mess outside my van um this is my dinner and I have to wash the dishes and put everything back where it goes. Luckily, I'm somewhere with a sink. Otherwise, I would be using a Otherwise, I would be using a water jug and a collapsible basin and just doing it um just pouring the water jug over over my stuff. This stove didn't get very messy, so I am just going to wipe off a little bit. I will clean this scrubber thing in a second and then I'm gonna fold this up and put it away. So I have this nice little nook in my van where I keep the propane and the stove I keep right here using a bungee cord to secure it so it doesn't move while I drive. Next this is going to be an easy step. I gave someone a ride today, so my front seat is back further and I cleared it out, so I'm gonna move it forward. So I have more room in the back. This just folds up real easy and that's done. Only a little bit left to go. This chair also goes up here. Sleeping bag. And lastly, my table and my solar panel go right in that too. And the front seat's done. The middle of my car, where if you go in through the sliding door, is it scares me right now. So I'm just gonna work on the back first. This is a lid to one of the storage containers under my bed. And if you look at it when I slide it out, I don't really have room to open a lid. So I just leave the lid off. And I think it's time I finally parted with this. I also have this box and some bubble wrap that I've been saving just in case I needed to mail something to someone. That's probably not gonna happen. I don't need that. My water jug is close to in the right spot. I just keep it right there. And then my Jackery is currently plugged into these Christmas lights, which are LED, they're really bright. And once I get my electricity upgrade I'm going to put them across the ceiling for right now I'm just keeping them bunched up doing whatever so I'm just gonna tuck them right there till I get to wherever I'm staying tonight normally my fridge would go right here with this rug and this towel for um, insulation but right now my fridge is plugged in in a building so I'm just gonna leave those right there next the box that the lights came in can be thrown away and this lid can go in my dishes section. Speaking of dishes section, this is what it is. Plates, cups, koozies, you know, the necessities. I also have this area for bigger cooking things. I have utensils and silverware in here. Underneath silverware and utensils. This is kind of everything. First aid, crafts, cleanup, um, DIY stuff. And while I'm back here, I can already go ahead and put away my matches and my spaghetti that I used for dinner. Spaghetti gets tucked into this section of food. And the matches, this is sort of my housekeeping stuff. Broom and dustpan, matches, dish soap, this is a bunch of hand sanitizer, bug spray, laundry detergent, all that good stuff. While we're at it, I keep my important papers in there. 
have a notebook to just when I need to write stuff down, my fan, box of tissues, and instead of buying new plastic bags, I use, reuse old plastic bags over and over again because it's cheap and better for the planet. In the last section in my cabinet, I have cutting boards because they won't fit anywhere else, a emergency toilet, a collapsible basin, and a whole bunch of rags and towels. If you're interested in how I built this cabinet thing with my removable curtain, I will put that video link in here right now. In California, if you return cans, you get some money back for them. It's called CRVs, cash redeemable value. But right now I can just get them out of my way and put them back later. Next, I'm noticing I have a whole lot of shoes that don't necessarily need to be up here. These I'm gonna save till it gets a little cooler and my hiking boots. I'm not going on a big hike anytime soon, so I might as well go ahead and put those away. So I get to use my lovely storage space. That's a whole separate video too, if you wanna watch. And I put my shoes I'm not gonna wear for a while back here because this space is where I keep stuff I'm gonna use more frequently and stuff I don't really need to get into as often I put there. This bag has my shower stuff, a little bit of hair stuff, a little bit of makeup and nail polish, just whatever kind of stuff like that I put in here, which lives in this bigger bag with my towel. So I just have to grab this thing anytime I take a shower. And lately I've just been putting that right in there because that's where it fits. Now I'm gonna put these cheap old shoes in there along with some rain gear. I also have flip-flops and I'm gonna stick my running shoes in there too because I wear those pretty often these days. I like having written out to-do lists because I like the feeling of erasing it, um, crossing it out, and this is another way I stay organized, stay on top of the stuff I need to get done in a day. And it goes right here with all of my home office. So back to doing clothes, I do have a canvas laundry bag I use. These I've worn a lot. This. I only wear it, wore it at work like one morning, so I'm going to make a separate pile over there. This is my pajama sweatshirt, so I'm gonna keep that on my bed. Work stuff, work stuff. This t-shirt's too small on me, so I'm trying to give it away along with this part of a chair that doesn't feel comfortable, so I'm gonna throw those in my front seat so I remember to take them to a thrift shop or something I can donate them to. I have a random rag because I'm always spilling stuff up here. Hangers, also trying to donate the bags to my chairs. I don't really know why I keep these, but I wanna just keep them for a few more months before I get rid of them just in case. Dirty sock, these shorts. Yeah, I wore those and they got kinda of dirty. More dirty clothes. This flannel I wear pretty often, so I'm gonna keep that out. More shoes that I wear enough to keep them out here. Used masks, I should probably throw those away. Some bracelets that I took off. I like to wear these. Phone cord. Lives with some technology over there. Coffee mugs, probably should wash these out too. Thermos. Only had water in it, so I'm gonna just put it away. I tend to accumulate a lot of canvas bags and grocery bags. They're just super handy, so I keep them right inside my driver's, or right inside my passenger side door. My adventure hat, probably not gonna wear that for a while, so I'm gonna put it with my hiking gear in the, um, my under the floorboard space. So it's already looking better. You can see the floor. These two things 
are trash. Both of these rugs actually, I had them originally so that my clothes bins wouldn't be moving around while I'm driving, but that hasn't been a problem. And they're not that thick, but it still does make it a little hard to move this out and in. So I'm gonna have to get rid of these rugs. Now this lantern is very handy because it's solar powered, but this one is brighter and a little more reliable. So I'm gonna leave that there, put this with my hiking gear. My laundry bag, I usually put right back here under my bed, but I don't really feel like fiddling with that right now. So I am just going to shove that in that little nook. I changed my mind. I'm actually gonna put one rag right here one, because I spill a lot of things on myself. Two, if it's a hot day, this seat is really uncomfy to sit on. Uh, like if I'm sweating or if I'm getting in the car and it's really hot because of the sun. So I put this down just so I have something slightly more comfy to sit on. And while I'm up here, I'm gonna deal with the land of sweatshirts. So I folded them up and normally I would put them away under my bed, but I have been wearing them kind of a lot in the evening. So I'm just gonna leave them there. And because I'm not driving long distances, I don't need to get into my CD collection. So these are fine just to stay right there for the time being. I'm actually sort of getting close to being done and I am just as surprised as you all are. Now these are my window covers, so I leave them right up against my cabinet during the day. If I'm back here for a long time, I'll find some other place for them, but right now they're fine to just stay right there. Between the cabinet, the window covers, and the bed, we have, this is where I keep my shorts and pants. I'm gonna go ahead and push that away. And this is for drinking water when you're hiking. I don't know why I still have that out. That's just going in the adventure gear with the rest of them. And really, I could just throw this stuff in here, but so far we have my water bladder, my adventure hat, and my lantern just kind of loose. So I shove it all into this day pack. That way, if I'm trying to find something specific, I just know what bag to look for instead of having to dig around through this whole big storage space. Alrighty, and now to clear off my bed, these two things we talked about before are going on the floor. These are all shorts. I was having a hard time deciding what to wear this morning, and of course that led to throwing all the clothes I own all over my bed. Voila, all folded, and my shorts storage is right down here, so I push those in, and away they go. And I'll put out my little piece of burlap, just to be cute. My stack of work clothes, I am just going to throw on top of my shoes, because I just, need a, I just need a temporary spot for them and that's a good thing. I only get into my shoe basket like once a day so that won't bother me that much. Then I have this flannel I wear a lot but I already left all that other stuff out so I'm gonna put it under my bed. Just like I have a bin for my shorts and pants, this is my bin for all my top type stuff. As you can see, space is super, super limited and this little bin. So I just kind of shoved it in the middle there, shoved everything to the side. And this can go back underneath. Sweatshirt I wear at night, that's going underneath the pillow. This flannel, I'll put that away in a sec. My PJs also go under the pillow. I'm really not too fussed about having my bed made every day, but I'm cleaning up, so might as well. And these pillows just kind of go wherever I feel in the moment. Now over here, this is behind the driver's side door, is a storage space that I'm really proud of. I have the normal burlap hanging down. 
under my floor. I have some space for books and flat things. And then I have all this normal under the bed storage too. And that is where this extra fleece is going. While I'm down here, I saw this and I remembered I have a romper to put away. This is just a little bin where I shove all my dresses and rompers. I don't really wear them very often, but they're fun to have. Also under here, I have this bin, which has swimsuits, dry bags, swim covers, goggles, stuff I need for summer. And I have another one of the same size that has my winter stuff that's under my, with my hiking stuff right now, under the floor where I don't really need to get to it right away. So when it gets cooler here in a few weeks, I will switch those out. So this is where we're at right now. This bag has my toothbrush and stuff in it, so I'm just gonna leave that there for the time being because I'm gonna need it later on tonight. I could also, sometimes I tuck it, tuck it away in one of these cubbies. I forgot to put away my jeans earlier. Easy peasy to clean that up. This bracelet, I'm not gonna put it on right now, so I'll just keep it in my cup holder. Now this is a candle in a beer can. One of my friends I met through Instagram has her own Etsy shop and company where she makes these and I have a discount code for them. So I will put that in the description of this video if anyone's interested in a really cool beer can candle. But that goes right here. It fell off when I was driving on a dirt road a little while ago, but I have three of the four Velcros still attached. So I'm just gonna push that right back. And this is a Polaroid picture I just taped up. It's the mountains around where I live here in California. So in conclusion, I am done. I have this much to throw away. This I have to leave in there for the time being until I can take it to the recycling place. I have a few dishes to wash, but other than that, my van is all set. Now, if you guys could please tell me what you think of this video, whether it was informative and let you know what daily life living in here is like, or if you're just like, clean up your room on your own time, man. Stop being so disgusting. Please just let me know what you think, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care, guys. Bye. And while I'm here, whoops.